I'm ready, man. Look, when Cody said something about, man, we're going to the river, and we, me and you didn't get to go to Iowa, I was like, put me in, coach. Point seven, we're about to get on a levee. A little bit different trip than normal. Going to a piece of property, honestly, the only thing I know about it is what I read on Small Town Properties website. It's uh, Michael Oswald, one of our brokers, has got a piece over here in Arkansas listed, and they're uh, doing equity shares, and they invited us over here to come do a show. And from what it looks like online, it is a absolutely beautiful piece of property. I wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like those, uh, you know, those fathead posters. I mean, that's dang near real size. I mean, that's that's about that's about the same size as Michael. We stopped at the gate for a minute, video good, because I told Hunter I was like, you know, I'd like to have some memory here. It might be the first and last time we ever get to come in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, this little sucker right here is Big Joe. <laughs> no, Chris. I mean, he looks like he's about to go jogging. <laughs> you going jogging or hunting? Did you come off triathlon this morning? We're looking at the river, man. I'm ready. <laughs> you look, you... So, real talk, if you could get your Iowa tag back right now, and Paulie said, hey, I was, all the deer came back alive, would you turn around and leave? No, I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, this is your... going to be right, oh, dude. man. We go first afternoon here in Arkansas at the Whistle Place. First time for me ever hunting, deer hunting in the state of Arkansas. I think we're gonna be in for a treat. There ain't no better than these food plots. We're gonna see some deer, ain't no doubt. That one right there, you're gonna be able to cut it with a butter knife. That's a good one. Look at that joke. What? All of them. I'm gonna tell you something. It was 70 degrees today. South wind. And you and still saw like it. And in the morning, it's gonna be 44 and north. I feel like it's gonna be, yeah. It's gonna be a little yeah. different. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna dust him this morning. Perfect. All right, man. Well, I think we're fixing to go try them. All right. Good luck. See. Big Keith. What is, what's he seeing? Man.
Man, he said he, he's been at transplant seeing 20, 25 deer a sit. Go. And like you're not getting hardly anything on feeders. They just, that all that grass has done come up and food plots. But he has not seen that big nine at all. You yeah. gonna go hunting? Yeah, I'm thinking to leave here about one. I mean, it's 12.45 right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get dressed. I mean, I might as well go in there early because he's in there all morning on that motor. I mean, he's so you are for sure gonna get aggressive and go to the river? I think. We looked at the map, talked to Bar. I think I'm gonna sneak around the backside, tip down the river. If I can get on the river road, I'm gonna do that and then come down in there and just set up on the ground. Going back to your roots, son. I, 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 I think it's a treetop down there or something, something we can get up in some big trees. I'm gonna, you know, that old river grass. We brush that blind and I'm gonna grab that grass and pull it up over. Us. It. I don't think there's no unless they just walk ten yards from us. They don't see. So you gonna ride or die there? With him being in there so much? I'm gonna stay right there. Dude, if it would work, oh. it'd be unbelievable. I ain't done this in a long time. Going back to your roots, you're gonna have sand on your boot with river sand, and then you're gonna be sitting on the ground. That's gonna be fun. We always drive in that way. And honey, I think he's bedded beyond the box in that timber that passed it by another 150 yards. It's a duck, big old uh, dried up duck pond with just thick, thick cocoa bird. I think he's gonna come out halfway of the field, chase those around and come up in here jacking around. We're gonna have some deer walk right here and come out right here too. Joey. Yeah, they on the edge. You see them? They about to come back out, Joey. Right behind the moultrie. You let me know when you got enough. Got him right there, Joey. All right, you ready? I hit him. I should have hit him good, Joe. We just killed him off the ground. <laughs> We're 230. We got in here perfect, Joey. I think I smoked him, didn't I? Oh, yeah. I, I, look, it would have been right last where you just... Yeah, he smoked him. <laughs> we, we did it. Dude, how big is that sucker going away? He's big. I got to call Cody. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. He ain't going to lean him to a stand yet. Oh, my God. Chris, only one reason he's calling. Did you already get him? I just got him, dude. You're kidding me. Cody, we ain't, sit, we ain't been sitting down 15 minutes. I looked to my right and threw 30 yards. I texted you, threw 30 yards. He came out 40 yards to the right, walked all the way, past, going straight away. I couldn't get a shot up the rear, all the way over there to the Moultrie Mobile, turn broadside smoked him right up through the last real angle out the front side he was going down when he went to woods joey said i smoked him, dude. 225 he's a, dude he's a stud he walked right yeah. in here dude i mean at one time he was 50 yards but i couldn't shoot him through some brush so i had to let him come all the way out in our he's, lane. A tank, he? he's he's heavy he's 
going away, he looks real big. <laughs> He too big for that CBA uh, PRC. Oh, uh, I think that PRC put him down. Here he is, Joey. <laughs> Look at that. There he is eating. He almost thought he was alive. He's sitting there dead gum wrapped up around the tree. Joe, I don't I don't think I, I think this deer is bigger than I thought. Huh? Oh my goodness, what a buck. Look at this buck. Whistle place, old stud, son. That's a stud. <laughs> Yo. Let me tell you, trail cameras have changed the game over the years. Everybody knows that, but that Moultrie camera, we put it up and uh, we brought three with us up, up, you know, here. We got a lot of them out of testing grounds. And, we stuck him up in a few spots and got him right out, just right off the bat, first night. And he was in here morning, evening, morning, so we knew he was close. And we made a play this evening to sneak in, in on, on his bedding area and come in the backside, and we got him. That's a big old buck, ain't it? Thank you, Joey. Yep. We did it, brother. That was fun. Welcome to Whistle Place Hunt Club located in Phillips County, Arkansas along the Mississippi River. Whistle Place is comprised of 3,200 plus or minus acres on the western side of the Mississippi River. It's going to be 10 shares, extremely low pressure, 10 shares on 3,200 acres, uh, which is pretty unheard of along the Mississippi River. Ducks, deer, turkey, small game, you will enjoy everything the Mississippi River bottom has to offer. in Arkansas. 31 degrees on the north wind. Going a little bit old school this morning. Yesterday, Chris shot early and came out to come up here to the lodge to take pictures and do all that. And they came through here, saw a shooter, Went, took some pictures, saw a shooter right here again, came back through, and there was two shooters. But these bucks, what Chris said, it's basically just running up and down. There's a willow thicket in here, and then a vine thicket kind of meets up. But on the map, Whistle Place is, was kind of, it's pretty wide in the back. And then it necks down here, and then joins this other side of their place. But it's where everything kind of necks down which has got to be why all these bucks are here. So we're actually sitting on the ground overlooking one of their better duck holes. Hopefully. <clears throat> we catch one cruising and call it to him or he just follows a doe cutting across his duck hole. and buck coming from the left cruise. If we can just get a mature one to do that. About to do a little grunting and can and put on a little chase. I done heard so much stuff chasing all up in those willows. Right, right. 
they're on A. That might be a shooter. Is that an 8? Nope. That's the young man from the food plot on, on the other end, what we saw. For sure. Dude, he just came in there and like threw himself into that tree. Wham, wham. Dude, when we put on that chase, they just piled off in here. That's crazy. It's got to be a shooter here. I mean, it's been the best morning we've had. Had a couple small bugs early, and then called pretty much all these in. Oh, I can see, I can see the back of one right here, Hunter. On, right over that little knob, that solo willow tree out there. It's a doe. God, that's like perfect there. 100 yards on the money. It's got to be. It's, they, there's no possible way solo doe with this many bucks around. Unless she just got bread. There's another deer behind it. I don't know if that's one of those other bugs. I just see the back. It's a buck. I just saw some horns. It looks like a bigger body deer than the... Just... That's a shooter, Hunter. No doubt he's mature though. Are you good? Yeah. I got him. Kind of looking at us. Are you good? I'm just going to go down and get on it. He ain't going to go nowhere unless that doe does. You good? We got smoke coming out the cascade. <laughs> Gosh, mighty dude, what a week. 753. Golly, dude. That's so much fun. <laughs> I mean, we had all the, I think all the bucks we've been seeing going around, they ain't messing with him. And they just been going in circles and she's probably hot. And he's just sitting there with her. Chris asked me, super guide. He said, I ain't guided in 20 something years. He said, but come on. <laughs> Hey, uh, is this a 1-800-BUCK-UBER? Yes, sir, it is. I'm in here brushing my teeth. When do you want me to pick you up? We ready. I'd like, I'm a, I am was thinking about sitting here and, and just going down there with you because you pretty much walked us in here on this one, buddy. We dress, we'll be there in uh, 10 minutes. All right, see you in a minute. We'll be sitting in the chair location. Look how heavy he is. Oh, it's a big river. <laughs> that is awesome. God. I'm talking about dumping. Oh, ain't no doubt. Good job, bro. That's so much fun. Oh, my. Good that is a good old river buck right there. Dang, Cody. I mean, when you, I saw his head. His first thing I saw, I was like, that sucker yeah, is old. old Dude, this, it ain't, I'm telling you that the river life is just different. Till you experience it, like, and I always, I mean, you know, when I was younger and first started hunting with you and you hear the stories you can't even really you know it's like oh i know it's good hunting but it's just yep. it's the 
it's the camps along the river, the traditions, the lot. It's just totally different. But, but I think the really cool part about this particular one, it it's the ground floor. It hadn't started yet, so the person going to be able to get in this thing, help set the rules, yeah. set the what they want to shoot, what they want to be, be a part of the be plan, be a part of building yeah. something special. You know, there's some great equity share clubs along the river, but very rarely do you get a chance to get in one from the get go. That's right, and, and build it. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be another special place. There's nowhere else in the country that that has the traditions and and the way of hunting the Greg Mississippi Hill, River. Then you go in together, we we'll just split one. <laughs> if he owner owner finance, <laughs> a dollar a week. <laughs> Hunt information provided by Southern Ag Credit, the premier lender for all your land financing needs.